Hi, I'm JR. I play Miser Snowfang, an ancient oath paladin. Miser is a bra, which is a race unique to Varath. Uh, Miser was taken to the Feywild as a cub, and as a result, he's much more carefree. Hi, I'm Ashley. I play Nerea Stonefury, an Eldritch Knight. Uh, she has a complex family history that mostly revolves around death, which has hardened her outlook on life. Hi, I'm Jerry. I'm playing Tristan Bestor, aka Stormmane. He's a Tempest cleric, uh, raised up among a group of mercenaries, been kind of hardened to the world, and kind of skewed his opinions of the people around him and their motives. Hi, I'm David. I play Jerome Magnuson, a Circle of the Land Druid who has an interesting relationship with time, giving him a unique perspective on things. And I'm Jared, aka DMF, and this is Dark Hounds, a 360 D&D actual play series brought to you by Game Master Studio. Next morning, unless there was anything else that anyone wanted to do. Um, before I go to bed, I probably want to fire off a remove curse or two. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta remember to antagonize those things. <laughs> Stop that! It's that. I feel like that scene kind of became a defining moment for Tristan as well. <laughs> Just like. <laughs> You're sick! Stop. But I'm not quitting! Remove cards! <laughs> really crippling himself, but it's hurting something he perceives as an enemy. Okay, so before you go to bed, you wanted to fire off some remove curses yeah. and screw with and, your and bracers. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a bunch of uh, screams and howls and attempted negotiations and reasonable logic of why this shouldn't keep continuing. Uh, lays out some very good points. Uh, is not uh, not really like trying to argue with you, seems very calm about the whole situation, but it just doesn't really understand why you're so insistent on causing it pain, and uh, occasionally tries to uh, sway your thoughts on the situation, well, again, not just with the, you know very reasonable points, but also trying to, seems like it's trying to play to maybe like a little bit of your ego, like, you know, but together we could find glory, and... And, you know, there's just no reason for you to, to hurt me. Like, we're a part of each other, and there's nothing that we can do about it. This one's at my idea. Roof curse! Right. <laughs> no! You're sick! <laughs> you can at least let me finish a sentence! <laughs> I see it like you and, uh, like, Crichton and Scorpius from Farscape. But he's ever watched Farscape. Mm -hmm. Yep. When he's in his head later on, it seems like the same kind of relationship. So yeah, there's one point like when on your like pretty much your last remove curse is like, why do you hate me so much? You don't even know my name. Is it remove curse? How many remove curses do you have? Three. Okay. Oh no, I can do four. Oh good. So <laughs> I have a full oh, level slot now <laughs> that I didn't use. Uh... Was it a constitution save ahead, or... No. I think it was, uh... I think it was a constitution save. Alright, we'll do constitution today. Anyways, I'll double check what I had to do last time. But yeah, roll four times if you're gonna pop all four off. Now, whether or not you also feel the pain, any pain or discomfort. You are connected. 24, 17, 8, 7. <laughs> so on two of those, you drop to a knee, and you yourself also feel a tremendous amount of discomfort. So we're like in the other room just hearing screaming. Yeah. Like, what the Yeah. Hell? All the screaming from the bracers is in his head. Right. But all of a sudden, yeah, all of a sudden Tristan's just like, son of a- <laughs> Well, we also hear- <laughs> <laughs> we also hear remove curse yell really loud. Yeah. Okay. How about another remove curse? <laughs> ah! <laughs> That's it, buddy. You tell the turn who's boss. <laughs> <laughs> He's your oh, name boss number to work for. <laughs> <laughs> I'm rooting for you, buddy. <laughs> oh, 
good. So that's how you end your night. <laughs> you wake up the next day a, a little sore. Everyone else got fair sleep. Rooms were offered to you for free, by the way. They didn't want any trouble. They just, you know, you just had to stay one night. They offered you free rooms. You could Thank stay you. the night and be off in the morning. Plus, apparently, you're not enemies of Jag. Not necessarily friends, but not enemies, so that puts you in good standing. <laughs> we made him sober. He'll, and we'll do it again we'll if you're not to careful. You. <laughs> <laughs> no! Give us what we need. <laughs> we'll sober up everybody in here. <laughs> Hmm, I could sell a lot of ale. <laughs> you can't sober up everyone. We, we, we sober refresh their Jack. problems for you. <laughs> and once a month, these travelers come through and sober up my entire uh, patronage. And I get a spike in funds for a day. <laughs> As everyone tr- quickly tries to read drunken themselves. I'm not sure Cern would approve. Maybe. <laughs> I'm not sure if she would care. <laughs> I'm gonna get a plate of bagels and cast le- cast uh, restoration into each of them. So <laughs> here, eat the bagel and kill. <laughs> Clerics of Cern don't make potions; they make baked goods. Mm. Try that pastry. The raspberry tart is lesser healing. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Jack meets you in the tavern and brings you to the port where is my ship? All aboard. <laughs> Bounces bounces up the gangplank, breaks it halfway up. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna have Both to figure out some sort of uh, police system. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna have to figure something out for this guy. Over get here. the cargo crane. Yeah, get cargo crane, bottom of the net. <laughs> Little legs are sticking out from the bottom. <laughs> As he's moving, he's trying to. Yeah, he's like doing the air swim. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down. With it. Yeah, the whole boat's listing a little bit. <laughs> he's like, "Yep, this is my ship, the Lame Wrist." So here we go. Is that a new name? Uh, <laughs> is it a limp wrist? No. I always thought it was ironic until yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> How many days uh, travel is? Uh, by boat, it's thing. gonna yeah. So. How long do you expect these? Uh, expect this to be if on. We're water. going to where you say we're going. I've never been there before, but uh, I'm gonna have to say it's probably gonna be three, four, no, nah, probably four or five days. Yeah. yeah. Mizzer doesn't necessarily. Looking over the edge. Yeah. Looking out to the open ocean. Oh, a dolphin! I'm gonna get him! <laughs> ooh, ooh, wanna play? <laughs> It'll all work out. And then we cut to a shot of Mizzer climbing up the anchor chain. I wanna sit with the crow's nest! <laughs> <laughs> Just soaking wet and looking miserable. <laughs> Finally gets back up on. Oh, hey, that shit is just shiny! <laughs> no, he just goes to the edge and sees, like, Bear. <laughs> <laughs> he keeps falling for it. <laughs> oh, look, it's me. Oh, no, I'm drowning! <laughs> no, <I> look, <laughs> a troll with continual flame on its face. <laughs> Uh, yes, the f- most of the trip is fairly uneventful until he tells you on the third day he thinks it's going to be about one more day's travel. <laughs> That's eventful. <laughs> well, the uh, the weather starts to get nasty that day. So the weather started getting rough, and his tiny ship is tossed. That's it. <sighs> Not for the cards of. This crew, the limp wrist would be lost. Or sorry, lame wrist. <laughs> lame wrist. <laughs> lame wrist. Lame wrist. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. Uh, I don't have my eighth level spells yet. Uh, can't control with her. I can't be like, I got this. I can call lightning. <laughs> I was like, I can use, I can use the bad weather to my advantage. <laughs> I can control water. Okay, Uncle Man. 
gust of wind would be useful. You could have made it go faster down. before now. Remove curse. <laughs> That's an important one. That's for my night. So, would you have removed curse every single night before going to bed? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> so you guys are starting to think there's something going on with Tristan. <laughs> <laughs> I don't judge. <laughs> Every night. He, he might be a self-mutilator. He might be a cutter. <laughs> he, uh, he's, he's got some issues going on. Every now and then. It's not necessarily every night, but every every night or so, he's uh, he's yelping out in pain. Oh my gosh. It's, it's one issue at a time with, with our cleric, okay? First we have to deal with the racism, then we'll deal with the soul. <laughs> It's because he's depressed. We just we just encourage him in baby steps. You know? Baby steps. Baby stepping to the elevator. Do you want me to show you what's going on? Let me see your ring for a second. Could I bag up all of my armor? <laughs> if would need be. I think I will while on the boat. Okay. Um, you don't like the idea of drowning in your plate mail? <laughs> and you know, if there's any point where we have to swim for that last little bit, it'd be much easier to do it from a bag with a rope than in full plate. <laughs> Can so I show some weather empty water, bad, air containers in the the bag with the to help with the buoyancy? <laughs> I'm sure at some point I might have realized that you know, after the first day when there's no more land and I'm sure if I do know how to swim. <laughs> so yeah, a bag on my. <laughs> I could see like something like in the future, like there's a freak storm happening, we have a fight. Like Kristen and I just like in like lounge chairs underneath an umbrella, just like <laughs> just, 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 just like calling lightning, we're like, how's it going? You're doing your martini? <laughs> <laughs> there's not quite enough shaved ice in it. <laughs> I'm actually a little depressed that Tempest Clark for a domain spell gets called lightning. <laughs> and doesn't get lightning bolt. <laughs> <laughs> I think I should take it out on this guy. <laughs> So, yes, the storm, the weather picks up. The storm be a brewing. It is, uh, the squall, there are some, uh, pretty big, uh, waves going on. And Jack says you all better bundle up. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. <laughs> How does the bear bundle up? <laughs> he comes out with a big, like, Kenny parka. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> I have a sail on. <laughs> so yeah, the, the weather gets uh, quite bad. And the ship's being thrown about. Big squalls. So I'm going to have you all make some dexterity save throws to keep your footing. What if we're already lying down in our quarters? If you're already lying down in your quarters, then you're good. Yeah, if the storm wasn't getting bad, I would have definitely been under deck too. Okay. <laughs> Anyone that wants to be remain on deck. Probably would be too. I'd probably would be like. Hmm? I don't like this anymore. I don't like this anymore. Eight means I should probably be under deck. Going under <laughs> deck. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, so you're all in your quarters. Trying to hold on. Yeah, Don't trying to know. not get thrown about in your quarters. This goes on for quite a while, most of the night. You hear me from the other Oh, the weather outside is frightful. <laughs> I sure wish I could start a fire in here. Eventually, I'm assuming none of you would have been able to sleep through or tried to sleep during the, the craziness of the weather and the ship being thrown about. Mm. <laughs> Drill wood. <laughs> She just turned herself into like immune armor and just like. <laughs> and take a minute nap. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm getting at least a 10 minute nap. <laughs> ping, ping, ping. Don't even feel it. Ding, ding, ding. Well, if you have resistance still to non magical damage, getting bounced around, if it only does one hit point of damage, it's gonna be rounded down to nothing. <laughs> See, I would I would assume, you know, the ingenious folks that some of us would be would just made a hammock. Dead and just got into that and be like, you all tell me. Eh, well, I I know trees, I know hammocks. I would have hammocked it up. Okay. <laughs> Anyone making hammocks? Anyone trying to sleep? Everybody else comes in to wake me up. They're like, oh, I didn't sleep, and I'm in a hammock. Like, <laughs> like, why didn't I think of that? <laughs> I'd actually like to go talk to Jor Elf when we're on the boat. Okay. 
Jean-Louis <laughs> <laughs> just swings. <laughs> a miser tries to get in the hammock without being realized. Was <laughs> <laughs> so everybody coming? Is this a slumber party? Is that what's going on now? <laughs> Down in the hammock district. No. <laughs> there he is by yourself. <laughs> She's the one person that would be really funny to be in your tiny little quarter. Like, all four of you are in your tiny little quarters, and then that's when she activates her armor and then rolls up into a ball and she just starts cannonballing. Just everybody ricocheting <laughs> everywhere. Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> like, oh, God! Oh, God. <laughs> it's the worst game of dodgeball ever! That's <laughs> the uh, yeah, Superman animated series, the Toy Man, and he's that ball that just like constantly like starts increasing in speed until it's like breaking apart like the. <laughs> So what do you want to talk to Drell about? Do it up. Um, actually, I wanted to talk to you about your ring. Oh, yes, this thing. Yeah. I figure whatever it does, it'll do its thing at some point. Has it spoken to you? No. <laughs> no, no. Did... Is yours? I think I know how to wake it up. Is this, is this something you need to talk about? Because I feel like the uh, imp went back on his promise. Oh, no, I, I will say that, and, and I, I assure you, I would, I was planning on suggesting we, we make at least a return trip to that temple and say hello to him. Mine seem to be inhabited with a mentality. A mentality? Is it, is it, is it ask not that we're, we, you can communicate with? No. No, unfortunately. <laughs> it has, um, a, think of mind of its own. <laughs> Sentient cursed bands. Lovely. <sighs> oh, what have you been doing? Well, magically trying to remove which, uh, which woke it up. Something explains all the screaming. <laughs> I don't know. Go ahead, give it a go. <laughs> I just see how this plays out. <laughs> this will be fun. It's... For me, it hurts, so uh, just so you know in advance. Believe me, I've been through a lot of pain. Pain's an old friend. I will cast Remove Curse on his ring. On his ring? Yeah. Okay, make a uh, constitution check. Actually, I think I'm going to go with... I feel like charisma checks for like a personality... Force thing. of will. Yeah, force of will kind of thing. For force of will, wouldn't that be wisdom? Well, it forcing <laughs> its... Yeah, trying to force its will onto you, charisma... Because like, it's a personality thing, you know what I mean? Uh... Oh, hang on a second here. I'm actually looking in here to see if it has anything on it. Any suggestions or ideas? I much prefer a wisdom save. Just... <laughs> yes, yeah, so would I. <laughs> I mean, con plus five. Five wisdoms plus eight. Well, see, charisma for me is was my like trash stat because obviously you can tell Drill just really doesn't seem to like. Okay, yeah, care. about crazy. Thing. Yeah, charisma save. Okay. Yep, charisma save. Well, this is gonna go a little well. <laughs> oh, lovely. Seventeen. That's that's after my minus. <laughs> <laughs> after your minus. <laughs> Worked out well. Well, yeah. Then you don't you don't feel it, but all of a sudden you hear. Ow! 